Vampire. So this is a game that, uh, that I spent a good two to three hours with. And after my experience was over with this game, because I decided that I wasn't going to play this nonsense anymore, I was left scratching my head. How was it possible that any competent or even incompetent game development studio could possibly release something that's this bad? This game is one of the worst games I've ever played, and I only played it, once again, for a good two to three hours. Everything was just mediocre in this game, beyond mediocre. The graphical presentation, starting off with that. The game looks like it came from the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 era, but the game was released two years ago in June of 2018. How is it possible that a game in this day and age can look so bad that it appears to be a generation in the past with its presentation. How is that even remotely possible? Then there's the music. And the music seems like it fits the era, but then it just seems try hard. It's like they didn't know where to the, the actually insert the music because the music will just play during scenes where it doesn't feel like it belongs and it's just like they're trying to go for that triple A big budget feel. And they just fail miserably because they don't know what the hell they're doing. And this game was developed by Don't Nod Entertainment. And they're popular for uh, the Life is Strange games. I've never played Life is Strange. But uh, after playing this, this bullshit right here, I have no interest to even try anything else from Don't Nod Entertainment. And what's really sad about this game is that it has potential. You can tell that they were really trying to make this special. But the game is just so underdeveloped in so many different areas. The combat system, for example. This is the worst combat system I've ever seen in any video game I've ever played. It is that bad. It is that poorly executed. The combat system in the Witcher games, which also contain some of the worst combat systems I've ever seen in any video game I've ever played. The combat system in the Witcher games outclass the combat system that's in Vampire by a wide margin. Again, how do you make a combat system that's worse than the combat system that's in the Witcher games? How is that even remotely possible? This development team found a fucking way. I just don't understand. It's like, the combat system is so slow, it's clunky, it's unintuitive, the animations aren't smooth, there's like no weight to it, there's, there's no hit detection whatsoever, everything just feels off, it looks awkward as hell on screen. And then the enemies are designed the same way that the player character is designed. So it all just reeks of, of pure ignorance and stupidity. A mediocre effort from this development team. The story in this game is like the only thing that's remotely decent. But when you really think about it, it gets worse. Because the story is just dumb. You play as this character, Jonathan Reed who at the beginning of the game awakens to uh, discover that he's a vampire and he accidentally kills his sister, Mary, in a fit of thirst for blood. And then he wanders the streets trying to find uh, safety because you have these uh, people within London who are trying to hunt him down. And then he somehow ends up at a hospital where he pretends to be a surgeon. That's the concept of the game where you have to decide if you're either going to save people or consume them as a vampire, while at the same time trying to figure out what happened to you, what your origins are, how you became this uh, stalker of the night. That's what the game really is, and it has a, a good uh, artistic design, and it has you know some pretty good atmosphere, and that's what makes it all the more tragic that this game is just so, so weak. The potential for something great is here. But nothing is utilized properly, nothing is designed properly, and everything is just bullshit. The combat system is bullshit because not only is it designed poorly, it's another fucking clone of Dark Souls. This is the worst clone of Dark Souls I've ever seen. You have a stamina bar, again, like all these fucking games do. Some of the controls are exactly the same as what you have in games like Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. And I'm just scratching my head, why? Here you have a good concept, right? It's an original concept, but then the developers go out of their way to copy a different development team, which is from software and what they do with their games, instead of trying to be creative and innovative and coming up with something new that they can call their own. And you wonder why 
uh, video games have fallen in quality over the last 10 to 15 years. It's because of nonsense like this. The graphical presentation is bullshit, probably because the game didn't have a large budget to begin with. And so the development team over at Don't Not Entertainment, them trying to make this like a triple A game, like trying to imitate a triple A budget with essentially a double A budget because they didn't have the money for a triple A budget. Once again, it's like, why would you do such a thing? The story is bullshit because it's just dumb. It's like a cartoon show. You play as a vampire who doesn't know how he became a vampire. And so he pretends to be a surgeon and you're supposed to have like some kind of interest to, to save people's lives in this game. But why? And then to make it even worse with the exploration, which is also bullshit, not only do they copy the, the combat system or they try and imitate the combat system of the Souls games, but they also go out of their way to imitate the level design of the Souls games as well. So... In this game, you have a bunch of doors that are locked, and you often at times find yourself having to run all the way around just to get to your destination. And the only way you know where your destination is is this uh, terrible marker system, this like uh, compass system that they have on screen. And basically, you're supposed to go around and unlock shortcuts, just like you do in the Souls games, to make navigation easier. It gets worse. It fucking gets worse, because the to make it even worse, you can't actually fast travel in this game. There's no fast travel system, and it's supposed to be like this uh, semi-open world type of environment that the player is uh, able to freely roam through. Again, I just don't understand the mentality of this incompetent design. What the hell happened during this game's development? Who was working at Don't Not Entertainment at the time this game was being developed? Because if you ask me, the entire development team should be banned from the video game industry. Whoever had any hand in making this game all the way through that had nothing to do with the art design or anything like that, outside of that, these people don't need to be working in the video game industry. They need to find themselves a new career. That's how bad this game is. I went up on Metacritic and Steam and I was reading the user reviews for this. And I was looking over some of the critic reviews as well, the professional critic reviews. This game bombed. It was getting mediocre scores all over the place. And like many other games, I didn't even go out of my way to bother wasting my time to read any of the, the user scores that scored this above a 7. Because those clearly are fanboy reviews from mindless sheep, drones who will accept anything that's put in front of their face. This is easily one of the worst games I've played all generation. This is one of the worst games I've played ever. It's just awful all the way through. There is really nothing good about this game except for the atmosphere and uh, the art design and everything like that. Outside of that, this game sucks. The story sucks. The combat sucks. The exploration sucks. It's not fun. It's not engaging. It's not intelligent. It's just stupid. It's boring. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It's everything that is wrong with video games today. It's everything that was wrong with video games from 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's just bad. Fuck Vampire. This game sucks. Don't Not Entertainment doesn't need to be making any AAA games. If this is the best effort that they can pull from that development studio, y'all need to either stick with indies or you need to shut down your goddamn studio. Because this, this kind of shit right here is completely unacceptable.